Baby shark, do 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 do. <laughs> I'm high, I'm alive. That's good. Got some energy. <laughs> it. <laughs> She's like the energizer bunny. It is Monday night, and that means it's time for let's talk about. And Kim here is way too full of energy. Yes, I've got my favorite, favorite oil, energy. We are talking about energy tonight, and it is quite an awesome blend. Can I tell you a quick joke? I can't really say no, can I? What do wind turbines think of renewal, renewable energy? I give in. What do wind turbines think of renewable energy? They're big fans. <laughs> Thank you. What do you call an electron who cheats on its partner? I give in. A current affair. Okay, enough of that stupidity. Dad right. jokes. So, they are dead jokes, aren't they? Alright, so energy... It's actually, it's a blend which I love and I, um, I use it often. I dab it behind my ears, which probably isn't a good idea because technically it does have some pot oils in it, doesn't it? Yeah, it has lemon anyway. lemongrass and clove. Okay, so Energy's got a bunch of, well, let me just, can I run through the oils? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a mix of rosemary, it's got juniper, it's got lemongrass, which as Kim said, it's a hot oil, it's got nutmeg, it's got Idaho balsam fir, it's got clove, also a hot oil, and it's got black pepper. So how, how would you describe the smell? So you can definitely smell the rosemary in it, which is strange because I've actually never smelled the rosemary before in it. I can smell the I can really smell the lemongrass. One of the things about rosemary oil, if you've ever bought a young living rosemary oil, what you will notice is that if you get your nose really close to it, you think, far out, I've bought the wrong oil or they've put it in the wrong bottle. That smells like eucalyptus. And that's because one of the key constituents in rosemary oil is actually eucalyptol and it's really light. So it's the first yep. compound in rosemary oil that jumps out and that's why you often smell the eucalyptus. So if you want to trick someone and say, what smells this? Put it really close to their nose and they'll say eucalyptus. The best way to smell rosemary is like drinking a fine wine. You know how you Just quaff waft. it in the glass? Except well, you waft it. Yeah, waft it up towards your nose and you'll get the rosemary smell. Two smells from the same yeah, bottle yeah. but that's yeah. what you get so Interesting. there you go that's rose um the rosemary that's in but you can really smell the rosemary rosemary not the eucalyptol that's in this so just out of interest why energy all what, right a what would you use it for and b what makes it work Okay. Have you got some, you're the oily guru. I'll just keep throwing these questions at you. So, um, once again, Gary Young always creates oil blends for a purpose. Mm. And, you know, like, like anything, he was seeing lots of people do things like drink caffeine or energy drinks or load up mm. on sugar in order to stay awake. And he wanted to create something that naturally would help people have, you know, a boost of energy. So I love to use this oil over mm. my adrenals. So your adrenals are tiny little glands, like jelly bean kind of shape, that sit on top of your kidneys. And um, pretty much where your bra line is, if you're a woman, obviously if you're a man, you don't have a bra line. But I just get the energy oil. because They're called men. Boots. For those of you who know me, you know that I'm a bit of a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of person. Like I love to do everything, you know, like normally we should have been out of the door like 10 minutes ago and <laughs> I'm always late because I'm always trying to fit too much in. Yep, and so in true. the morning, I literally am dropping these drops in my hand and wiping them over the top of my adrenals to give me that extra boost for the day. Yep. Um, and then I can apply some later on. I know that lots of people add other oils to it, like uh, clarity, so a bit of clarity yep. and energy, yep. or some peppermint and, and energy. Um, I sort of rotate between sometimes just using energy and other times over my adrenals, I'll use nutmeg. So I really, really like that. It does have nutmeg in yep. it, but I just like to mix it up a bit because sometimes our cells can actually get used to essential oils and it's good to actually rotate. So if you've been using, say, Panaway for a while on your knee, swap it out and use deep relief or use relieve yeah. it or you know yeah. even wintergreen by itself and that's what I do with the energy oil because after a while I find I don't get that saying woohoo and this well yeah because I mean that's what our bodies do with anything isn't it they adapt all the time whether that's good things or bad things we adapt to them so yeah that's good good advice to change it up so um, as Jeremy said, the best way to use it is to dilute it. So you could make it up into a bit of a roller um, or you can even diffuse it. So you put it in the diffuser while you're working and concentrating. Because remember, rosemary is great for concentration and remembering things. Um, 
the black pepper is also good for concentration yep. so it's got oh, great oils so even just I mean just smelling it like that if you had some in your pocket you could take it out have a whiff don't snort it it'll mess up your mucous membranes <laughs> like crazy with those hot oils but no it's it it's definitely a wake up and a pick me up yeah yep. awesome so um yeah that's pretty well I mean some of the blends are really simple to understand what they do, like energy, stress yep. away, pan away. Yep. Um, but every week we've been covering a different blend and going through the alphabet. So last week was Egyptian gold and this week it's energy. Yep. And if you use energy, put in the comments below what you've used it for and, and how you found it. We, we're always interested to get your feedback on this stuff. Yeah, and I love to take it with me when I travel yeah. overseas and, you know, I've been on those long flights and I've got to, Absolutely. you know, be on the top of my game to go to and do a workshop or a meeting or a conference yeah. or whatever and I'm using the energy oil like nothing else. Shelley's just said, good reminder, I need to pull it out and start using it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And do you know the best thing? Oils don't work unless you use them. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Is that right. what you were going to say? Well, yeah, they work so much better when you open the lid. But um, the other thing I was going to say is, you know, given that our current culture where, you know, caffeine is king and people are slugging down Monster or, you know, whatever the energy drinks are, the, the thing I love about this is there's no, you know, energy hangover. No sugar so, in there. Yeah, you, it's not like you get a sugar hit and bang and then, you know, you go up and you crash. There's no crash associated with this, which is one thing. Which They're I just really oils like. that are yeah. really uplifting and help yeah. to, you know, open up the airways. Um, and yeah. then obviously when your airways are open, you can breathe better, you can concentrate more, and it just helps with all those things. Absolutely. Thank you. That's it. We'll see That's you next That's all we time. got. Shorty, so but a goodie. What's next? Um, e. E. Maybe F, forgiveness. Forgiveness. I think we've done the E's. Yeah, okay. We will see you next time round. Yeah. Thanks, guys. See ya. Bye.